Hi, how are you? I'm Shung and I'm from Malaysia. I have been at the University of Shafiq for more than six years now and I'm studying aerospace engineering. So welcome to the Diamond. The Diamond is at the heart of the university's campus and it's one of my most favourite places in Sheffield too. I learn, I eat, I study and I hang out here. It's a state-of-the-art learning and teaching space for engineering and an amazing study space for all our students too. You can turn a corner in this building and stumble across everything from wind tunnels and robots to jet engines and lasers. So come on in, have a look around and meet my friends and my teachers too. You're wondering what this is? It's a replica turbine that I'm working on at the moment. I'm hoping to get it working in the aerospace lab later. So over there is Diamond's Kitchen. It serves the most delicious international food here, from flatbreads to the Sri Lankan coconut rice. And my favourite is the Piri Piri Chicken. A bit jealous of the guy right there. The Diamond's Library operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and offers all the most essential books here. You can always order a book from any of our library or a wider UK library network and pick it up or drop it off here if you like. And that reminds me of all the books I have to return today. I might be a while if you go upstairs and I'll catch up in a bit. There are people upstairs who can show you around. I'll see you in a bit. Why don't you come with me? I'll show you the moonscape. See the screen here? It shows how many people are currently in the diamond. Well, this is the moonscape. It's your wow moment in the diamond. Hold on. Oh, it's Abhinav. Have a look around while I take this call. Hey, uh, yeah, I do have these printouts that you wanted. Um, when do you want them? <laughs> What do you mean you can see me? Where are you? Oh, hi! Right, um, I'll just give these to you when I meet Xiong in aerospace later. Yeah, okay, cool. Bye! Sorry about that. Um, so, what do you think of when you see the staircase and the pod? The staircase is based on the design of a screw and the pod is based on the design of a transistor. And over there in the clean room, they're actually making transistors. Anyway, um, I have some work to do, so I'll see you later. Bye! Hello, so welcome to the Diamond Clean Room. This is where we teach our undergraduate students how to manufacture tiny devices. Uh, I'm Gavin Williams, I'm a research fellow here, I'm in charge of this laboratory. So once we've patterned our, our devices, our wafers, in our yellow room, we can bring them outside and do some vacuum processing, and we can do some wet chemistry processing to actually make our final devices. They're, and as I said, they're absolutely tiny. This is a freshly plucked eyebrow of mine, look how small these features are next to it. Um, so Ina, can you show me the data that you've got on the light emitting diode? Yeah, so this is our light emitting diode. Excellent, that looks good. So yeah. uh, what's the turn on voltage for that one? Uh, it's about 1.4 volts. 1.4 volts, excellent, okay. Hey, is that, is that a friend of yours? I think he wants you to go to the project space. Anyway, see you later. Hello, I'm Abhinav. I study mechanical engineering. And this is Avalon, our underwater robot. We're in the project space right now, where most of this robot was built. Here we have Pete, who is in charge of the lab, and he'll show you around the facilities. Hi. Yeah, so um, here we've got a, a metal cutting laser, and uh, one of our students is actually making a car, and the, uh, the metal cutting laser is cutting out uh, one of the brake discs for that at the moment. Um, one of the first things that you might do when you come here is build the gyro car. So, a couple of our students here are just testing theirs to see which one's going to run around this track the fastest. Uh, and it gives you a really good experience of all kinds of processes. So you do laser cutting, uh, you'll do some milling, some drilling. Uh, we've got Abigail over on the mill here cutting out a slot. Uh, you might do some casting over there. Uh, and then this battery holder on the top, you're going to 3D print. Um, you can see a couple of bits running on the 3D printers here at the moment. Um, I think, Abby, your part's just finished, actually. Oh, is it? Um, so uh, feel free to grab it. Uh, thanks a lot, Pete. I'll take it upstairs to get it tested. Yeah, See you later. Oh, hey, Peggy. What hey, are you Abby. doing? I'm, I'm just pretty much enjoying the view here over. Oh, nice. 
What are you doing? Uh, basically, this heavy thing I'm carrying is meant to be a project that I'm doing with my friends from other disciplines. What is it for? So, it's supposed to simulate a thing by NASA. NASA? Yeah. Okay, what is so, it though? You know how they bring back payloads from the International Space Station yeah. and drop it in the ocean? Mm -hmm. So, this submarine will actually go underwater and bring back those things. It's supposed to simulate that. Oh my god, that's really, really cool. I know, right? Yeah. But I need to get this tested now and yeah. it's so heavy, so I'll probably see you later. <laughs> Alright, I'll yeah? see you later. See ya. You get this set up and I'll be back in yeah, a minute. Sounds good. Welcome to the Fluids Engineering Lab. My name's Andrew Garrard and I'm the academic in charge of designing all the experiments that happen in this room and making the best use of all the amazing equipment we have to enhance our engineering teaching. As well as the wind tunnels back there, we have 20 of these orange hydraulic benches that can be used to demonstrate how fluids behave with a range of experiments we can place on the top. And we have 20 of these computer-controlled pumps and turbine units that can be used to demonstrate the principles of how fluids can be used in engineering power systems. But the showpiece of our lab is the 10 metre long teaching flume that students use to design experiments to investigate open channel flow. Oh, Andrew! I think I've got an idea to help Shing with. I'll be back in a bit. I'll see you later. See you later. See ya. Hello, I'm Simon and welcome to our flight simulator laboratory. Here we have 10 flight simulators that are used by students who are learning about flight procedure and operation of aircraft. They're often used by our private pilot instruction students. We also have five flight simulators uh, that are based around aircraft design and these are frequently used by our third year students who are studying the performance of aircraft. Let's now go through to our propulsion laboratory. Here in our propulsion laboratory, we teach students about the performance and operation of jet engines. We have a small scale jet engine in a test cell, which Richard is currently servicing to ensure that it runs. We also have a full scale Rolls-Royce Gnome engine on loan from Rolls-Royce Heritage which allows students to study the manufacture and operation of a full-scale engine. And we have a simulator bench which uses the flight electronics of a real engine to model the performance of that engine in different conditions. And finally, we have a number of these small-scale jet engines uh, which students can take apart to study manufacture and operation. And I think Xiong is about to test his now. <laughs> 